let's move on to our next set of tabletops. They're going to be in this great color of gold and yellow, really fun for fall. And I think you're gonna love this next table. I did it with just totally whimsical ideas, something fun to do. It's um, completely opposite of any of the fancy blue and white ones that you may have seen us do. But let's, um, let's get started on this one. It has a very casual feel and almost like a picnic. So I love doing things with unexpected table pieces. And for the most unexpected part on this table, it was definitely the tablecloth. So I, again, found this fabric and decided I wanted to use it for the table cloth. And mostly what I was looking for were these greens and browns and oranges. That is what I can, any, if I find brown, I can typically make it look like fall. So I knew that I'd, I would be able to pull in the brown rattan place, um, place like char plate charger is basically what that is. It's a placemat, if you want to call it that. And I love the texture that it adds in. It gives it definitely a more um, sort of like a rustic look and it, and it downplays the playful sort of circus pattern that it, that it feels like. So it makes it be able to kind of morph into more of a fall feel. And then, like we always talk about, put in something solid. So here we have the plate, and it is the melamine. Melamine. It's from Ballard Design. And um, because this is a more casual, this is not, it's not breakable. So it's, it's a great thing to use for kids too. If you're, or if you're outside doing a picnic, this is always a good choice. Um, the solid cornflower yellow goldish napkin is also a great solid to put on this and it and it blends really well with the tablecloth. I love this raffia um, napkin ring on it. It also adds texture which I think is kind of what we're looking for in the fall. Um, we like that that brown and those um, kind of rougher textures so that makes it really kind of cool to use. And then for the flowers I again you can't go wrong with the orange dahlia and then I added in yellow, but my favorite part is that it's the cobalt blue bottle. And that way, there's no cobalt blue in this tablecloth, but there is blue, so you can add in a darker color and that kind of gives it more of a fall look rather than spring or summer. So don't be afraid to use what you have, even if you think it's not for the right season. You can make it look really seasonal and it also will add something just kind of unique to your table. So that is a great way to do that. And one of my very favorite pieces on this table is this corn holder. I love it. It's vintage and found it at, a, at an antique or vintage shop and bought a set. And it's fun to put those things out for my kids. They've never seen anything like that. So serving corn on it just kind of makes them laugh. And if you have guests over, it's always a great talking point because it's just so different. So um, don't be afraid to pick up some of those things that you see that you might not otherwise, I don't know, consider using. They don't always have to be fancy. Just think of using it as a um, conversation starter too. It's a great piece for that. So the next thing I wanna show you is this little um, flower arrangement, which I'm, I'm actually pretty proud of. <laughs> I love it. It's all sunflowers, except I added in a little bit of white and a little bit of orange just to pull in the fall colors. So usually you see sunflowers all on their own and they look great, but don't be afraid to add in some of the other colors to kind of give it a different look. So I used a British like biscuit um, jar, is basically what they call it. And it, I got this at an antique store here in Athens and I love them. They're so good for a million different things. So it's just an antique look very cool British thing, but then you can make it look like your fall picnic by adding in just the right flowers. I got all my flowers at Trader Joe's and don't know what this, yellow, this orange thing is. It looks a little bit like a cactus, but I have no idea. But I just like how it looks really different and um, almost, I, I like that it's kind of rustic. So I think that looks really good for a fall, a fall table. So again, just don't be afraid to mix it up and play around with it. Mix in your easy tumbler glasses and you have a look that nobody will be expecting to find and they will love being at your dinner or lunch or picnic. 
So have fun with it. For this next table, I want to address a question that people ask me. They say, so I um, registered four plates and they're kind of all springy looking. And how do I use that year round? So I want to show you how to take something that is does look like a spring plate, but you can make it work for you all the time. So what I'm doing, this is a here and um, Victoria is the, is the um, pattern. And as you can see, it is really colorful and um, you know, lots of florals. So what you want to do is take the colors out of it that you can find that are deeper. So I'm going to play off the greens in here and I'm also going to put it on a gold tablecloth. So this very gold tablecloth definitely has a fall vibe and then I'm going to take a salad plate to put on top that plays off the green also. So that when you have it plated and you're seated at the table, you're going to see all of the green and the gold and the white versus all of the florals. But when you do take it, take off the salad plate and you have your meal, your dinner, I can do it on this one, um, it also will match because you pull in your flower arrangement to make sure that it blends and again you're going to go with the colors of fall so you want to pull in the oranges that you have or maybe that plum color and then the blue so you can see how I, I used all of the colors here and if the pink throws you off and you're just not into that for fall then you can just go with that peachy rose or you could always do a white rose um, you could even do a yellow rose so just use the even though it has butterflies and all of that don't worry about it just look at the colors, pull those colors in. Another way I did it was with this napkin, and these are some of the, the greatest napkins that um, have the scalloped edge, and I love how they look on every, every table. They can be opened up and used also as a placemat, but these are Fenwick Fields, and they are really some of my favorites. I think I have them in several colors. In that, dark, that darker green, it looks really good with this plate. So let's look again at how it looks when you put it all together. It doesn't just scream spring and it looks really great. And all we did was play off the gold, play off the green, and then pull it together, all of it together with the flowers. So I even added in a small arrangement and I would put this, I would put this as the centerpiece and then scatter some small arrangements throughout the table. Always just keep it simple with your crystal, if you want, if you're with all this fancy or china, and um, same here, water glass and wine glass. And then I use the gold flatware. One of the things I really do love using for fall is brass, and I mentioned that earlier, but it just, it just really gives that, that darker patina, gives it a little bit more of a fall feeling. And then I traded out the candles to have green candles. So. I would get creative with your candle colors also. You can find lots of those. My favorite place for candles is the Fab Foo. So there you go. That's how you can make green and gold work really well and change your spring looking table top to fall, even without having to buy new plates. For our next gold place setting, I'm gonna show you how to do like a monochrome, mostly all gold, all in the same family. Um, I just want to show you how to do it if you, it's a little bit more like mid-century modern or just modern and it, it gives a really cool sophisticated vibe. So here we go. I'm going to show you how to do it with all gold. I'm using the same gold tablecloth that we just used and I'm going to use the gold plates, the white plates with the gold trim, putting all of the dinner, salad, and bread plate together stacked up. And then you'll notice I put this tiny little little plate and it's gold and white and what I love to do with something like this is to add on a name so I just put a little name on it on a piece of paper and thread it through on the stem and then place it on the top and then that way people know where to sit and it's a cool little place card they can set it off to the side um, again since our space is tight you would most likely put it in the front you know at the top of it and um, they would have their own little place but I think it looks so pretty when they when they arrive to have a name place with a little um, flower waiting on them and it's just like the cutest little perfect thing in that stem it will just it will just go right through a hole like if you use a hole puncher on the on the paper maybe I'll show you guys that 
um, in another in another um, video, like how to make some creative name place cards. I think that would be a fun a fun video to do. So let's take the centerpiece and look at it. All I did was take white and gold. Um, it's a cream and sugar cream and sugar bowl, and I put the roses in there. So you'll see that they are the yellow, gold, peachy roses. I cut them very short, put them in a really full, as you could tell, full bottle, I mean full uh, jar of water here, full um, container, and then just let them float. And it makes a really, just like I said, sophisticated look, um, very minimal, but also really gorgeous. For this very center part, I chose to use this Mackenzie Child's vase, and if you wanted to, you can add in flowers um, if it were going to be in the middle of the table. I didn't add them in right here just because it would take up all the space and you wouldn't be able to see around it, but I would put something white in there. I'd put like white, um, you could do white roses or you could do a white hydrangea to fill it. So it just makes a really pretty, um, different, I like the fluted top, it makes it look like it's really more of a piece of art than it is a vase. So it's fun to use it on the table. And then I just added in the gold um, silverware and of course the gold glasses. I, I can't resist using the entire set matched together. You can do water and you can do um, whatever kind of drink you want really. It doesn't have to be. But if you wanted to have wine, you could certainly add in the crystal because you want it to have that sophisticated sort of upscale look. And another idea, if you wanted to mix it up and make it, you know, break up some of it, maybe it's a birthday and you're having a celebration, you can always add in like a different type of cocktail glass. And um, these are Mackenzie Childs and they're hand painted. That says 1983 on the bottom. So they have been, they have been, um, around for a while. I think that's the company, the age of the company actually, but I have had these for a really long time and I think I would, I think I got these on eBay. So you can always look for those in different places like the auction sites. And this is the same, it's a McKinsey Childs. And if you look at them side by side, you can see they're totally, totally different patterns. And um, so you can mix and match the way, I, that's the way I like to do it. If you want something a little more festive and you don't want to have only gold and white. And then for um, serving, I love using this gold and white cake stand. And then of course a cake that is either, you could use it, you could use the, there's, there's edible gold now, but I went with the yellow just to kind of soften some of the, the colors. But this is such a great fall table. It's really easy to put together because it's just basically gold white and um, anybody can do it, and you can basically use anything that you can pull around to put together that you've collected. So there you go. And for our very last gold place setting, I can't wait to show you this fall tea set, tea party. Um, it's just really colorful. It's a little bit of rose gold and gold and pinks mixed in. So I think you'll love it, and you can invite your friends over, your, your, um, your friends over for cake and tea or whatever you like and just enjoy being together. So let's take a look at this table and how easy it is. I'm using that gold um, tablecloth, which really kind of becomes a staple for me in the fall because um, I, I do have a lot of bright colored tablecloths. So this one helps tone everything down. And then I absolutely love using this gold. These are vintage gold plates and I love them. Um, I collect them whenever I can at different vintage places. So lots of antique stores carry them and it's called Paris, like the Paris gold. So that is a great way to add in on top of the gold plate, on the dinner plate, and then I just like to stack in the really pretty teacups, and I mix up. I don't use the same one, as you can see right here. Um, I like to add in the different kinds. Uh, I really don't like for them to match, but if you like for them to match, they can. So both of these place settings are, are completely different except for this main plate at the bottom. So this plate over here, this one is initialed. I have no idea who that is. I just loved the plate. It's not my initials, but I thought it was beautiful and it, um, it needed a, a new home. So I bought it and now I use it and create really pretty tablescapes with it. So as you can see, you just add the tea cup, the cup and saucer, 
And then I would suggest a pretty way to display the teas. I love Harney and Sons tea. I really do like the way it tastes and I also love the way they have the pretty um, presentation with their tea bags. And so I just put the different colors out, let people choose their favorite flavor and then would have a, a teapot with hot water and just I would pour it for people so that they don't have to. Um, again, I love the roses for a tea party. It's always perfect to have. And um, I would do water glasses for sure um, because you're going in this in this version uh, basically having cake and tea. So um, no alcohol. But if you wanted to do coffee, you could do coffee as well. And of course, have like cream and sugar for it. On this plate here where the, where the cake is, this is another vintage piece. This was a gift from Parker Kennedy Living and um, it's, a, it's a compote and it works as a double. It doubles for me as a cake stand. So I love the tiny cakes that you can get. They're usually four inch cakes that you can order from a bakery and they're perfect. They're a perfect size for a small tea party. So invite your friends over when it starts getting cooler, have some tea or some coffee and enjoy the fall season.